my poor little red cup. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. What a day yesterday. For those who watched my Ford B-roll, which I filmed with my smartphone and DJI Osmo Mobile 3 gimbal, many of you requested to see how I edited this final video sequence. So today, let's go through this step by step. new here welcome my name is Zdenka Kadarola. if you want to learn how to take better photos and videos with the latest gear and possibly participate in creative camera challenges like the one coming up on Monday consider subscribing let me play the b-roll again I decided to edit the final video sequence in Adobe Premiere Pro simply because when I'm editing the video on my smartphone the apps I'm using are quite limited they are not giving me complete control like I would normally get when I was editing in Adobe Premiere Pro filmed at 120 frames per second in Filmic Pro on my Android, imported it on 24 frames per second timeline and started editing. Lots of the clips were slowed down to 20% or not even that slow. If I saw some clips turning out a little bit jittery, I simply used optical flow feature. I discussed it in one of my recent videos and I'll link it in the video description below for those who want to check it out. The reason I didn't follow the rule to slow it down always to 20% is because I made it work for me and the music. I didn't let that stop me in creative process. The first clip were the flashes. I was using that Falcon Eyes F7 Lite. And when I imported the clip on a timeline and I played it with the music, I literally started laughing. I didn't have to do a thing. The flashes were fitting with the rhythm of the music on its own. I got extremely lucky. That was a very lucky one. The next clip follows going from black backgrounds onto the strudel. Some of you commented that you really like the way I pronounce it. Well, that's how we say it. Apple strudel. Second clip follows, which had speed ramping. Because it is a transition, I made it to go fast from black background onto strudel. Then I slowed it down. How do you know how much you want to speed it up with the speed ramping? Well, there's no really a rule. You gotta listen to the music, to the rhythm, and make sure it's actually fitting with the music. So the speed I'm using has nothing to do how I want the effect to look like. It's more about fitting to the right rhythm. Another clip follows and then zoom out clip, which I slow down in the second half even more. Here's the first glitch, which is not really a glitch. Very short clip as I was shaking the camera from side to the side. Then three clips follow, just slowed down and glitch again. Another clip and last glitch. Apple transition is the last effect. At first slow and then I used speed ramping to make the end very fast as the camera went into the apple. Next clip starts very fast again. I used speed ramping and cranked it up all the way. To make the transition smooth, I added cross dissolve between those two clips and shorten it as much as I could so it looked quite smooth. Final clip just ends by using dip to black effect. And that's all. It is actually very simple. What is hard is the actual editing, cutting the clips into the beats of the music. 
So you end up listening it over and over and over trying to figure out when the next cut will happen. Also what is quite difficult is figuring out the order of the clip so it all makes sense and it looks very interesting. To be perfectly honest, it's sort of like a puzzle and that little puzzle took about three hours to accomplish. So what happened to my little red cup? Those little two chips. And this is the only red cup I really have. It's quite expensive one too. Bought it in dollar store. <laughs> As we are home in self-isolation now for 11 days, it is quite challenging to actually keep creating, keep going, coming up with new content, being full of energy and all that. I originally had completely different videos scheduled. I originally thought I'm gonna make a completely different video. I wanted to do a video about transitions you can do with the DJI Osmo Mobile 3, so you can try it at home, but I didn't have the whole script written word by word. I only had few notes. And my head, my brain was full of those news and what's happening all around the world right now. So as I was trying to concentrate and work and because I'm a mom, kids were coming to the room, knocking on the doors one by one, asking, can I have this snack and that? And can I have cacao and all that? Obviously I was losing my concentration. I was losing the train of thoughts. I simply couldn't do it. So I said enough is enough. This is simply garbage. And as I was going to the kitchen all frustrated, my son asked me for something else. And obviously this slipped out of my hand, flew right on the floor and this is the outcome. See, we all are facing all kinds of challenges, but we need to be responsible and work with those challenges. Being said, the video will happen next Friday. I'm definitely gonna make it. But right now I just simply have to first write down the script step by step, word by word just because I don't have that distraction-free time right now. To all of you which are trying to create, I know firsthand how hard it is right now, but if we get through those hard times, it's gonna make us only stronger. For the rest of you, the way you guys can help is obviously watching us videos and keep supporting us and also keep in touch with us. That means leave the comments below if you have any suggestions what videos you would like to see, what videos you would like us to create in our homes, which will help you to stay entertained and less bored and hopefully lift your spirit up as well. Suggestions help huge, so write it below so we can give back. Well, hit the thumbs up if you liked today's video and subscribe to more. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions or want to say hi, you can do so in a comment section below and I'll see you, all of my friends, in the next video. Ciao, ahoy!